Governor of Ogun State, Dakpo Abiodun Sefadon Yam, very big, well done. Take a give press do for the Federal Republic of Nigeria for the sharp, sharp submit on top of the 2020 budget. Our cities are, uh, are the threat of uh, overpopulation. Um, and I, in Ogun State, I am contiguous to Lagos, uh, which is the you know, fifth largest economy on the continent. So uh, Lagos uh, is expanding into Ogun. Uh, that is why you have all the industries uh, in Ogun State. And that is why you can see that a lot of people now are either living and working in Ogun or are living in Ogun and working in Lagos. And it is important for us to build a sustainable state, not just even a city. And what does that entail? It entails ensuring that we look at that migration from Lagos and we begin to plan for it. You know, at that migration, those that are migrating from Lagos to Ogun will require things like good education, they require good health, they require good road infrastructure, they require, uh, uh, um, 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 you know, physical planning, they require um, an environment that is clean, they require power, they require water, uh, and those are the things that we have focused on in Ogun, so that we are not caught unawares, we are prepared um, to be a, 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 also a mega city, because very soon you'll begin to find out that you'll not be able to distinguish between Lagos and Ogun, and particularly, you know, the infrastructure requirement. Ogun State View must be able to move effortlessly within Ogun State, and they must be able to move between Ogun and Lagos State in accordance to, to respond to this challenging, you know, uh, migration. Lagos has about almost, is it 20 million, 15 million on 3,500 square kilometers. We have about, say, 5 million on about 16,000 square kilometers. So we can accommodate them, but we must be prepared for it. So it, it, the discussion for me is about how do we build sustainable cities? How do we build sustainable rural townships? We must also ensure that our Rural communities do also not migrate. To this. What do we need to do to ensure that they stay there? We must provide them with road infrastructure, we must provide them with water, we must provide them with electricity, so that those that are living in the rural can also stay in the rural and have a high quality of life as they dwell in the rural and do not feel shortchanged. Because otherwise, like they said, today about 50% of the population live in the cities. In another 20 years, we have about 75% moving to the cities. We can't afford that. So we must find ways and means to ensure that you know, we prepare for this, we keep the ones in the rural, we prepare for those that are migrating, and that is what I'm very concerned about.